Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Yeah. So for today's reading, we're doing rumors about your persona. And we have here three beautiful pals. Pal number one with the hematite. I'm sorry, this is the obsidian. I'm sorry, I forgot the name of this crystal, but listen. Pile number one here. Pile number two with the rose quartz. Pile number three with the hematite. The original hematite. Please pause the video if needed. Let's go. So for the viewers that picked pile number one with these, <laughs> with the unknown crystal, <laughs> Let's find out now, what are the rumors on your persona? And I just wanna say, these might be explicit, mean, or downright not even true, but that's okay because it's rumors and we still wanna find out because we're curious and yeah. So let's see here. Am I taking reversals? Yes! Knight of Swords in the reverse. Ooh. We got here the Seven of Swords in the reverse. And the Two of Swords upright. Okay, I'm getting a bunch of things already. Like, okay. Um, Rumors about your persona is that you could be very slow moving. Um, maybe like you take your time with things. Maybe you take a long time to get ready. You take a long time to leave your house. You take a long time to leave a venue. You just take a long time to do certain things um, that people might feel like it's unusual. But maybe you're just a person that you like to take your time. You like to live in the moment. You don't like to rush anything. Um, people feel like you're very slow for that. Um, maybe you, you even come late to events or like different places. You always come late. Um, rumors about you is that your looks can be deceiving. You might look like, um, how can I just explain this? Um, it just gives the example of somebody, you might see somebody, you might think they're hot, like mysterious, maybe even like a baddie or like a bad, um, a badass, whatever. Your looks literally like take away from who you really are. So people might view you and see you and they might think that you're a bit aggressive or you could be maybe even like a little bit bitchy. Just off your looks though, like nothing said, just your looks. They might think or assume that maybe you're a little bit mean. Maybe you're a little bit on the cold side. And when they meet you, it's like a whole different, like you're bubbly or goofy or funny. Or maybe it's even the opposite. Maybe you look innocent looking and <laughs> your mouth can, can kill, okay? Um, so yeah, it's like the eyes can be deceiving when it comes to you. R rumors about you is that pile number one is not who everybody thinks they are. Pile number one is so different than what you might think they are. Um, you guys could be Geminis, you guys can be Leos or Aries. There's a lot of swords here, so it's a lot of air, right? We have here passion ignited, power in the reverse, and then the waiting game in the reverse. Okay, so that's crazy. We got the waiting game here. So with passion ignited, rumors about you is that you enjoy everything you do. So let's say, okay, an example. You've never been like with those people that when you get to a, to a place, they're like, constantly complaining they're they're trying to get upset at something the waiter the food like people that are just always looking for something to be mad at you're the opposite of that um rumors about you is that when you're around everybody's having a good time you're always having a good time it's really like not easy to catch you having a bad day because it's like you are very put together you are um very responsible with your emotions it's like you're not you're not quick to overreact or get emotional or get really mad or really angry like you're just a take it easy type of person that's what i'm getting here with the power in the reverse not power hungry 
somebody fair. Um, it's like you bring like a comfortability with people. Like you might be extremely attractive, extremely well put together, extremely powerful, maybe to society or even in your career. And you don't let that be your personality and people appreciate that so these rumors are not that bad okay because remember persona is like your character we have here the waiting game so you might be somebody that takes your time very seriously um even if you come out late or whatnot it's like you like to spend your time on good things like if somebody calls you to be like oh my ex this like the same person with the same issues like you're quick to ignore them like you're not really a person that's going to be helping people that don't want to be helped so you have really nice boundaries here like pound number one they're not gonna wait for you to leave your toxic boyfriend or your toxic friend like pound number one is just gonna ignore you and just keep going okay rumors can also be that you are somebody that's very patient with your goals whether it's to you know get into a sport getting into a new project you're very patient with yourself and you take the long road no matter how long it will take for you to succeed it's like you believe you will succeed so you have a good reputation. You do. We have here positive, uplifting, new friends in reverse. Okay. Um, rumors about your persona is that you might not pick the best of friends. You not you might not pick um, the best type of people. But maybe it's not even that you pick. Maybe it's because you don't have the best people around you. That's the rumors. Like, you deserve better people. That's the rumors. Like, you deserve better people. Or maybe you don't even have people, a lot of people around you. We have here, reconsider your alliances. Make new connections upright. So, rumors about you is that you're an amazing person, but you just need better people. Or you need more friends. Or you need better company or more company. That's the rumors about your persona. We have here, an elder will teach you. So rumors about you is that maybe you surround yourself with a lot of adults or grown-ups because you seem very mature for your age. So you can be in your 20s watching me or you can even be in your 50s. But what the rumors about you is that you have a lot of wisdom to share or maybe grown-ups, older people than you have shown you a lot of wisdom. Or it taught you a lot of wisdom. Also, the rumors on you is that you also, when you, if you see that you have toxic people around you, whether it's friends, classmates, coworkers, you're quick to walk away. Like, you're not a somebody to deal with things or deal with people's attitudes all the time. Like, you're quick to walk away. You're quick to, to be your own person, Okay. Like, I see you walking away from people that other people might think that you will never walk away from. Like, you know those people in those, like, really toxic groups that they're just, like, in control of everybody in their lives. And you'll be the person to walk away from the group. It's like Mean Girls Edition, but you will walk away. Okay, so very daredevilish energy here with pile number one. Not gonna lie. Let's see here. What are rumors in my pal's persona? Five of Wands in the reverse. Seven of Cups in the reverse, and the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Not a bullshitter here. It's like if you're all in, you're all in. You're not dipping your feet. That's what I get here. Rumors about you is that you've had problems with a lot of people, or maybe a lot of people have had conflicts with you. But with the Seven of Cups in the reverse, you've never paid attention to any of them. Oh my goodness, pile number one. This is crazy. So it's like, the rumors on you is that a lot of people have problems with you, but you don't give none of them attention with the Knight of Pentacles in the verse. You don't give any significance to anybody that is causing damage or wants to cause damage to you, okay? It's like knowing somebody 
said something towards you, but you acting delusional like it never happened to you because one, it wasn't directed, and two, um, that person really didn't do anything to you. They're just trying to find something to get mad. I don't know how to explain it, but you're somebody that you're you're quick to avoid conflict. Even if people want to start it with you or even start it up, you're quick to just not even give it any mind or any of it, any attention. And it just dies off. So rumors about you is that a lot of people may have may not like you or may have a problem with you. But the real ones recognize the real and they know that um if certain people don't like you, it's because they're the problem. For real, with the seven of cups. So you pick and choose your battles, that's rumors on you. Like you just don't fight with just anybody. Like somebody has to really, really hurt you for you to even confront them or do something to them. So yeah, you're not quick to give attention to anybody that doesn't deserve it. Pile number one, that's what I'm getting here. We have here a wonderful idea, the aha moment. A clockwork pumpkin. Pumpkin. <laughs> Rumors about you is that you have great ideas when it comes to careers, plans, motivational stuff. Like you have the best ideas. Magical space clearing time and then what comes around. Rumors about you can also be that you put spells on people or that you curse people or hex them. That could be a rumor. Um, another rumor about you is that you'd rather be alone than be with the wrong people. And you don't care who you have to cut off your life or cut off the tie with. M with magical space clearing time, it's like you guys clear up any type of space that you're in. Anybody that wants it, we could get it. All right. Some of you guys could be an engineer watching this. Very innovative. I also see somebody that's, that uses their body a lot. Maybe like you're into physical aerobics or other physical hobbies, whether it's running, whatever. Um, yoga, magical, okay, again with the space clearing. People have recognized that you are not the problem in a lot of situations. So people maybe were out to make you to be the problem. Like, you know, they're the problem. You know, when a bunch of people just isolate one individual, like they're the problem, they're this, they're that. Um, but there's like certain people that just disagree. You know what I'm saying? So not a lot of people could be influenced to hate you because you're such a you're such an innovative genuine person so even if people would try to with the five of wands and the reverse they really can't get a big crowd okay it'll either die off or people would just realize that they're being delusional because polymer one you don't really give attention to the things that don't really matter you don't give attention to drama you don't give attention to people that don't really care for you you just don't you leave them high and dry. Um, and I feel like that's what also gets people a little bit angry as well. Because maybe people want a reaction. Maybe people want you, want you to retaliate or say something back. Um, I'm not going to lie. The amount of people that get mad at me. I've had clients, which I spoke to before. Spoke about it. I've had clients get mad at me for no reason. For no reason. Um, Try to like, like shame me and stuff. And what I do is that I completely ignore them. Like, okay, have a good day. And that even gets them mad. Like, how me telling you, okay, have a good day? Um, How does that make you mad? Like, oh my gosh. It reminds me of that story of the girl that didn't want to pay me for the reading. <laughs> and I was like, okay, it's fine. It's fine. Keep your money. You probably need it. It's okay. Thank you. Have a good day. And she still sent the money. And she sent the money, but she was literally, like, violating me through the little message. You know when you send somebody money and you can just, like, put a little message? Like, in her little message, she was like, well, this was horrible. And I hated this. And I hated that. But thank you for your payment. 
I'm in my head like, okay, thank you for the constructive criticism and thank you for your payment. But like, I literally told her like, you can have it. Like, I don't care. Like, that's that's the energy you're you're putting out there. Like, you don't have to pay me. Cool, keep it. Feeling blocked choices. Manage to be glad, and then set your course. So rumors about you is that even when you feel like the odds are going against you, even when things are not going your way, it's like pile number one, they always find a way. They always get around. They always conquer. Pile number one is not scared of failure. Pile number one, they are, they're all in and they believe in themselves and believe in their goals and they know that they're going to be doing good regardless of whether people believe in them or not. So it's like you create your own happiness and those are the rumors on you that you don't need a crowd, you don't need an audience, but you still attract that. And not only that, you are who you are and there's no mimic, there's no copying, there's no copy paste. You're you. And people can feel offended that you don't want them in, in your life. But you probably have a right, real right reason why you don't want them in your life. And I understand this, pal number one. Like, you might know a lot of people, but not a lot of people might not, like, they might not know you for real. Okay. And I feel like the major theme here is that when there's no way, there is a way. Maybe people see you struggling. Maybe you tell people about your struggles. And the next day, you're just, like, brand new. And that's like, wow, <laughs> pile number one. They're always succeeding, even in, like, the worst case scenarios. So that's all that I'm getting here. Thank you so much for clicking on this reading. Bye, guys. So for the viewers that picked Polymer two with the Rose Quartz, let's find out what are the rumors on your persona. And I'm taking reversals. So we have here the Ten of Swords in the reverse. The Six of Wands in the reverse and the Seven of Cups in the reverse. Okay. You are very funny, first of all. that the, Those are the rumors on you that, they're, that you're very funny. Nobody can ruin you. That's another rumor. Nobody can go against this person. Nobody. Nobody. Mm -mm. Ten of Swords in the reverse. There's no way. You're not the one, you're not the two, you're not the three. Yeah, it, it's like that. Pile number two. Um, Six of Wands is in the reverse, but you're well known. You're well known. And I feel like the Six of Wands is coming to me to tell me that there are a lot of rumors about you. There are a lot of rumors about you. But one thing in common with all the rumors is that there's nothing that they can do to you. There's nothing that they can do to you. Um, yeah, Seven of Cups in the reverse. Many, many rumors. Should I start with the rumors? Maybe. Um, some rumors are that you are a B-I-T-C-H. You're rude. You're fake. You're not that good of a person. It's not what it seems with you. Your relationship ruiner. I don't know why the hell. Who the hell said relationship ruiner? Ruiner. Honestly, this is crazy to me. Um, but also with the with the mean, we also have good rumors, which is that you are very helpful to those in your circle. You're very kind, and you're very funny. Um, but honestly, with the Seven of Cups in the reverse, I feel like the rumors on you is what he says, she says, she said. It's never what they see or hear from your mouth. So it's not like these people really know you, okay? Um, you went, you've been around people that had already knew you before you knew them. They had their own perspective on who you were and you debunked it. You, you, you completely debunked 
anything that they ever thought about you. So, yeah. So if somebody got like a bad impression or like a bad review on you, you completely debunk that review as soon as they come near you because you're kind, you're sweet. You know, you're not a judgmental person. I feel like you can speak to just about anybody. And honestly, a lot of people take that for granted because they might think that, you know, I don't know how to explain it, but when you just are open to just about anybody, if they're very insecure, they might be like, they might think that in a way you're beneath them because you are tr talking to them. I don't know how to explain it, okay? But I've seen it happen where, you know, somebody is doing pretty good for themselves and they give attention to someone that's really not. And the person that's not will try to minuscule that person because of their own insecurities. When that person, although they're doing really well for, them, for themselves, they want the best for that other person. But you guys get where I'm going with this. So you're that person that's doing good. And a lot of people can't accept the fact that you're not that bad of a person. I feel like people here in this group, they try to find it. Maybe that's why you, you isolate yourself or you could be very private. You can be very private because people are going to say whatever they want at the end of the day. They're going to say and do and feel and express whatever they want at the end of the day. So why stress? Why try to put this picture up of who I really am? When at the end of the day, they don't care. They just want to find something, okay? It reminds me of, like, you've never known a group of people or, like, certain, a person, and the energy is not quite there, right? But it's fine because you're minding your business and you're not saying nothing. And all of a sudden, something happens with you. Something, maybe, like, a like a miscommunication with someone else, just know that it's something minuscule. And that person now wants to express their anger towards you. But you didn't even do anything to them. Um, it's like you're fitting into the category in which that person wanted you to. So see, I've never fallen out with groups of people at the same time, no. I've fallen out with one individual and it has made 15 other people feel away and want to attack me. So that's an example that I could put there. So your energy is in a way where it's so intimidating that people will find any little thing to just attack you or want to, you know, minuscule, minuscule your character. So you always tell yourself, if I do, it's wrong. If I don't, it's wrong too. Let me just back the hell off. Let me just back the hell off. Let me just get out. Of, get out. You know, and it's really unfortunate because I feel like a lot of us, we've gone through that where, you know, people have this like little unruly feeling about us and want to attack us. The first little thing that they hear or the little first miscommunication that happens, they just want to go all in and destroy us. But that just proves that they had a problem the whole time and that they took this opportunity to just attack. But hey, let's get into this. We have here deception and envy in reverse. Fulfillment of wishes upright and mental conflict. Rumors about you is that a lot of people are envious, but they just don't show it. And they don't have to show it for you to know it, honestly. I feel like it's not that hard for you to see who really cares about you and who really doesn't so yeah it's like deception and envy is coming up here as envy but in the reverse it's more like hidden so rumors about you is that people a lot of people have hidden agendas with you like you might have people that say hi to you and act all cordial with you even say they want to hang out with you and Low-key, they, they despise you and they they talk horrendously about you behind your back. That's what I'm getting here. And those are the rumors. Um, rumors also is that you fulfill 
your goals, you fulfill what you want to get done. And that maybe a lot of people are envious because you just got your shit together. You just got it together. And maybe you don't have the career of your dreams, the apartment of your dreams. But problem number two, just the essence, just the aura, just the light that you carry. It explains, it shows a person that will be successful eventually, will achieve what they want eventually. With mental conflict, rumors about you may be that you probably um, have a lot going on in your life or you feel a little bit trapped, maybe by the circumstances. Maybe um, somebody passed away recently in your life and you are a little bit in the straw or you're feeling a little bit alone or not in the best mental state i heard doves or white birds so your loved one might come as birds or white feathers white birds white feathers or even a dove you're very unique as well i don't think that a lot of people dress like you or do what you do or even express themselves the way that you do yeah, I heard after sadness, happiness, hope, and return. So the rumors about you is that you've been going through a lot of depressing moments in your life. Even if you are alone, people are still in tune with the with the 101. Okay, so people might um, rumor that you have been feeling alone or sad or just isolated. I heard childhood treasures resurface in the reverse. Rumors about you is that you don't speak to anybody in your childhood or you don't speak to anybody um, that you used to be friends with back in your childhood. A safe place for you to go. It's like you're very safe and protected in your cocoon or in your own energy. And it's like very hard for you to come out. So yeah, there's like a rumor here that, you know, you feel like you're all that so you don't talk to anybody in your past or you don't speak to anybody from your early childhood guys don't even go back to the childhood friends i always i've done that in the past not once twice three four multiple five times more than that and one thing i always realize or recognize when i go back to these older people or these they still have that person that they thought i was in their head so the connection is there, but the acknowledgement that there was some sort of evolve, evolve, like evolution or involvement or anything different is not there. They still view you the same way. Um, they think you are the same way and they'll judge you based on the same way you used to be. And they themselves have not changed. They themselves continue to be the same person so going back to an old friend is like going down the ladder it's more harm than good okay it's even if you see that your old childhood friend is doing better for themselves or better than you it's not always a good idea to go back because the eyes can be very deceiving um i remember i had disassociated myself from somebody because they hurt me a lot with their words and they were quick to switch up on me over a little situation where they lost. So it was a situation where this person was in the wrong and they fell flat on their face and they were mad at me for not being a part of their humiliation. I don't know how to explain it, but long story short, I reached back out to them because, you know, I thought they were doing good for themselves. I thought they were more mature or, you know, hell no they weren't hell no they were the same big old mean bully just with more money okay uh -huh. they did not change and so i was like you know this is crazy i i reached back out to this person and now what i'm feeling is low self-esteem i'm scared to even post on my social medias because i feel like i'm gonna be judged just like such a nasty cruel energy and so I decided to just like block this person again. Even if I was gonna look like the craziest person in the world for unblocking and then blocking them again, 
I was like, go ahead. I don't care. I like, they'll know why. They'll know why. And as soon, I'm not, I'm not, yeah, I know this. As soon as I started being friends with this person again, other people that knew them that I knew started like falling out with me, started like removing me from their pages. Like, yeah, like people started to like not like me. And I just, I just used to be like, what the hell did I do? Or say, oh, it was this person. Yeah, like they don't change. I've had friends from 12 years that know me since I was 10 years old. They never change. They're the same, guys. Always. Don't go back to friends. Don't. Even if they beg you on their knees, like, just be cordial with them. But don't have them back in your space because you'll regret it. You you will. You will. We have here the sun in the reverse, the ten of pentacles, and the queen of swords. Rumors about you is that your family could be very chaotic. Or your family can be very mean or rude to you. Or your family might not always be there for you. That's rumors. And maybe that's why you have such a hard exterior. Or like, you're coming across as the queen of swords. So rumors about you is that you can be a bit bitchy. Or a bit, you know, place very strict boundaries when it comes to people. But people blame it on your family. That your family were your first bullies. Like, oh my god, their family is so horrible. Their family is so mean or rude. Like, people might say that about your family. Or even your parental figures, like your mom or your dad. With the sun in reverse, people could be rumoring that you had a miscarriage that nobody knows about or that or an abortion. Either way. Rumors about you is that you respect the elders and you respect the elders in your family. But it's like your family constantly hurts you. Other rumors is that you live a peaceful life and you build your own family. And you don't let anybody around your family or you don't let anybody around your kids or around your home. Like very private. Okay. Pile number two. Very private with the children. And honestly, I really respect those people that keep their children's privacy. You know, a lot of people... You know, the other day, I'm not even going to say anything. I don't care about this, but I'm just saying, like, I really respect people that, you know, I'm not saying don't post your kids online, but, you know, like having limits, you know, of how much you expose them. Um, we have, oh, and when I mean expose, I'm not meaning like, you know what I mean, like exposing like in a bad way is like. You know, like showing them off, or like showing them off in the internet and stuff like that. That's what I mean by exposing, all right? Don't think anything different. We have your powerful personal growth. Back off. Calm and armored chaos. Love is strange. And it's time to be brave. So we have a lot of cards here for this one. Like, I didn't pick up all these cards. So people, rumors about you is that you could be very lucky. Um, people don't know how do you get the things done in your life. They don't know how you succeed. They don't know how you do things. Okay, you might literally say how you do things, but people don't believe it. Okay, so people want to know how you get things done. How do you live your life? How do you... People have a lot of questions when it comes to your life. Um, people don't understand how sometimes you can be calm when there's a lot of chaos going on. But maybe you used to be that type of person that used to react to everything. And I used to be the person to react a lot. And I'm not going to lie, I regret it. But it taught me that it's just not the way. After um, I just retaliate, I feel bad about myself. I feel like I, I fucking made a fool out of myself. I look embarrassed. I look like I was pressed. Okay? If it has nothing to do with you, just ignore it. Even if it's somebody's opinion about you or a rumor that somebody said about you, just forget it. And I know I could be a little bit of, uh, I'm not going to say that I'm a hypocrite because I the other day confronted somebody about some certain things. But it's like knowing when to pick and choose your battle. See, I knew this individual was weak and I knew that they, that they took pleasure in freaking scorning me behind my back. 
So I took pleasure in confronting them face to face because I feel like my intuition told me that they would never expect me to do that. And has life been great? Yes, it has. Not perfect, but it's been great. Um, a lot of peace. Baggage out of my, my back. Okay, because you don't want to be 80 years old and you're deathbed. Like, damn, I should have confronted that. You know, I should have confronted it. I should have stood up for myself, you know? So learn to pick and choose your battles. But learn who is that you are battling with. Okay? If it's somebody you feel sorry for, don't even waste your time. Don't even. Okay? Um, rumors about you is that you're not scared of anybody. And that you yourself, you don't have to tell a person to back off or cut a person. You, can, you literally just walk away. You just literally show your disinterest. You don't have to literally tell somebody, I don't want to talk to you anymore. You just move with that energy. You just go along with it. You just, so I hear like somebody that moves in silence. Somebody that doesn't have to announce their steps. So the rumors about you is that people don't know your next steps. I feel like you're catching a lot of people surprised with this, like this new energy. Something about a transformation, a new personality shift here with Polymer 2. You're trying to become less reactional and more at peace, more calmer and less caring about what people think about you. It says here it's time to be brave. So, yeah, like a lot of you guys are not scared to be who you are, confront, or just live in your happiness. And there's like a big growth here that's happening that people are recognizing. Like, damn, problem number two is not even arguing back. Problem number two is not even defending themselves. Problem number two is not even saying anything. Oh, my goodness. It's like you're using like silence as like your power. And people, those are the rumors that you're using silence now. That you're very silent. And maybe you used to, you, you didn't, you didn't, you was never like this. You, the moment somebody picked on you or you know, pop your bubble, you will really, really go off or make a rant or feel so bad. And you're using now silence as a weapon. Let's see here with the last couple of rumors. Mortality life is brief and bright. Never jam today. Law is not justice and belong to your own dream. Rumors about your persona is that you're living for yourself. You're coloring your hair the way you want to. You're dressing the way you want. You're going outside in PJs if you want. You're just like living this rebel, I don't care, get out my face energy. And I love it. I really do. With a hint of I don't give a fuck. You know, I love it. Um, we have here promises that never come to be. Empty words. Um, rumors about you is that you might say that you're going to do something, but you don't do it. Like, you might say, yeah, we're going to go out here, whatever. Let's make plans. Let's go out. But you never do. And you never show up. So you might say yes to things and you know, and you don't show up. And I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit guilty of this. Because I feel like when people invite you, let's say even like family or even in-laws, they say, oh, um, we're having this thing. Let's get together on Friday, Saturday. If you say no, chances are they're going to start asking questions. Why? But this is it. But you should come because this. But da 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 da. But, or they're going to just straight up look at you crazy or even get mad. Like, who they think they are. Like, you know, if you say no, I'm not, I don't, no, I'm not going to come. Or no, I'm going to be busy. People don't take those excuses anymore. People don't eat those up anymore. Right? So I might just say okay i don't even say yes i just say okay and i don't come if i don't want to because i used to be the up front type of you know honest no i'm gonna be busy that day really yo and i'll get the dirtiest look even if i will say i was busy girl even if i will say i was gonna go to my grandma's 
funeral. I can't come. They'll look at me crazy. Because people think that, you know, they deserve explanations. People think that they know you. They know your life. They know what you got going on. So me, usually, I'm not saying it's correct, but I just say, okay. Are you coming? Okay. Like, literally, okay. Because okay is not a yes, but okay is also not a no. I don't know how to explain it. But, um, yeah, people might just, like, rumor around that you just don't show up or... You say you're going to do something, but you don't do it with them or whatever. People might also rumor around that you have problems with the justice system that are swept under the rug or that you forgot about or that you don't really talk about, but that they know. I've heard belong to your own dream. Um, People also rumor about they don't know what's your plan. They don't know what's your end goal. What what are you trying to do with your life? They don't know. Um, so honestly, people are just rumoring about the things that they don't know here for this group. About how much you have changed as a person. Not the same. And how you're more private. Okay, there's a lot of things people want to know. And their pride just won't let them ask. Okay. Um, I haven't had people ask me a lot of questions either. I feel like they try to listen, but there's nothing to listen to because I don't speak about my life. Um, I speak about my life to a couple of people. Y'all already know. People that I love, sometimes you guys. But um, usually, not really, okay? Um, people might also rumor that you have like a, like a sweets addiction. Like you might like to eat a lot of sweets like chocolate, cakes, or that you're a baker and you're pretty good at baking. Um, people might rumor that you're actually depressed. You're deep down depressed, but they don't know. They don't know that you're really depressed. They don't know. But that's all that I'm getting here. Thank you so much for clicking on this reading. Bye, guys. So for the viewers that picked POW number Three with the hematite. Let's find out what are the rumors on your persona. The world. Wheel of Fortune in the reverse and the Nine of Cups. So people might rumor that you are attracted to older people or older men with money or older women with money. Um, that you have an attraction to older people. People can also rumor on how your life completely changed ever since you moved in with somebody, you started to be with somebody, or you married somebody, like your whole life completely changed. Um, people can also rumor about your body and talk about how the surgeries you've done or how much your body has changed over the years. Rumors also about how you've changed on people you have changed your life or you have changed on people ever since you've been doing better for yourself oh yeah yeah definitely this is that group so I feel like the rumors on you is that you've been doing pretty good for yourself, but that um, it has led you to change around with the people around you or like you have changed. You're not the same. Ever since you met somebody or started making more money. So like you let the world around you change you. You let the people around you or the money change you. That's the rumors about you. We have your wisdom in the reverse. Love begins. Wow, that's crazy and success in the reverse people are blaming your success on another partner on a love partner maybe they helped you with your business or invested into you or they or your parents invested into your business or your partner let you invest into your business while they carried on the bills or the light the the just everything in the in the household or whatnot um, rumors can also be that you're not really wise, that you're very immature. 
um those are rumors only guys so don't take it maybe like you try to pretend like you're wise but you're actually very immature i will watch over you people rumor that maybe you have an ancestor that watches over you or someone that has passed away that watches over you but rumors also are that you might that you might have like a, a partner that's very overprotective with you like hides you from the world like doesn't let anybody near you that could be a rumor though you could be the one that don't even want to be around anybody and they're thinking it's the partner we have your complete commitment and then we have here cast away out of your death feeling abandoned in the reverse so people are rumoring that you guys are in a complete commitment with somebody like somebody is very committed to you like you live in a very harmonious relationship friendship whatever it is if you guys are not in a relationship so your family is very harmonious or even your love partner a lot of a lot of focus here on the body i don't know why there's a lot of focus here on the body physical looks but that has changed as well that has evolved yeah like at what time i'm learning the future here I said that I was going to take the blueprint. She was like, I'm getting ready right now. I'm ready now. And they're trying to call you. Okay, so tell her that I'm going to be ready like in about 15 minutes. Okay. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm supposed to go out today. But I'm going to still give you guys your reading. Because I'm that bitch. <laughs> I love you guys. Um, some of you guys could be very connected with the moon. Something with the moon. Moon child. Maybe you were born in the night. Okay, um, maybe you have like an aquarium, like a bunch of fishes, like a bunch of fishes, turtles and stuff like that. So people just want to rumor about how you're like happier, how like you don't even like you might have like troubled exes or troubled friendships or relationships with people back in the past, back in the day. But it's like they're saying that now you are feeling like the opposite like you feel so loved so taken care of so you know content with your life and so that's what people are discussing and rumoring about some people can also rumor about some tattoos that you have maybe that they could be symbolic for um somebody that passed away in your life or somebody that you really cared about in your life so people can also rumor about that People are also rumoring about you getting um, breast augmentation. Shout out. Um, or even any augmentations done to maybe your nose. Some people can talk about how you're gay. Or like you are sexually attracted to the opposite sex. No, not the opposite. The same sex. But um, people could be also discussing and rumoring about your sexuality. Which is why do you guys care who I lay with bed with like oh my god they really care um i never understood that why do you why do people care about what other people do in bed i never understood that okay so shout out to my lgbtqs um but yeah they're, they're rumoring about your sexuality so don't be surprised with the king of cups ten of wands and then the lovers in the reverse Ooh, they might be talking about how your partner is very controlling in the relationship. Very controlling. So, like, it might look like you guys are happy, but it might not be. So, again, guys, these are rumors. So, these are going to be all over the place. People are constantly going to be rumoring about what they think, what they assume. Their own projections, of course. With the Ten of Wands, um, people may rumor that you're always at work or you're always working or working. With the Lovers and the Reverse. People can also be rumoring about how you're still stuck on an ex. Even if you have moved on and the current person has like taken you everywhere, has taken care of you, people are still saying that you're pr probably still stuck on that ex. We have your transitions to the spirit realm. Sweet memories and a clear solution. 
So people may may um be rumoring that you speak to spirits or you have a connection with the spirit realm. Like you know things that other people don't. With sweet memories. So people can also be rumoring about how they have a lot of good memories with you. Uh, maybe you used to be the party, party person. Like you used to be like very lit. Um, you used to go everywhere. You used to have fun everywhere. But maybe now you're just into your own energy. And that's what people are rumoring about. Like, wow. It's crazy how pile number three used to be like such a party person. They used to drink so much. And now, like, they're, like, they don't even drink. They don't even smoke. Like, they're just so calm and collected. Like, wow, that is so crazy. People could also rumor that you smell really good. Or that you're you're always keeping yourself up to date. Like, whether with the new exclusives or, like, the best clothing or, like, the best things. You can be 24 watching this. 11, 11 can be significant and that's so crazy because I just seen it on the time on my phone. People can also rumor about how if you had a garden, you let it dry up. I'm so sorry. These are rumors. People can also rumor and say that you look better with dark hair. I don't know who needed to hear that, but those are rumors. So if you got your hair lightened, that's who you are. Stay with it. We have here no need to fear. Remember how powerful you are. So people are rumoring on how, yeah, pile number three, they know that, that they're the shit. Pile number three, that they know that they're a baddie. They know that they got it like that. They know. So you might have, people might rumor that there's some sort of cockiness when it comes to you. Like maybe you know who you are and now you're acting like it. People always think you're better than them if you're doing a little bit good for yourself and like you're focused on yourself. Like automatically, yeah, they think they're better than everybody. Okay, like, all right. Thank you for exiting <laughs> out of my life. We have here, you are rare and free. There are not many like you. So yeah, you're very unique, honestly. You're very unique. And people are rumoring about your beauty and your looks. You might dress a very distinct way or wear your makeup in a very distinct way fashion or way the hair is killing it i don't know what you did with it but it's killing it people are talking about it there there's rumors about it i wonder what will happen next so people are rumoring the rumors are about your personas that people never know what's next with you no, people never know like what's your next step it's like you're constantly moving in silence and let me continue talking to you guys while i put my other cards away so yeah people might also be rumoring how you're very intellectual like maybe you graduated from college like you have a degree in the sciences or in literature very educated like that's the rumors people are saying like wow pal three though you might not believe it but pal three is very educated you know and why do i get the feeling like a lot of people are rumoring about how they never expected you to be who you are now because maybe you were like very like YOLO. And if you don't know what YOLO means, it means um you only live once. So it's like a term a lot of people use out here to express the fact that they're living their, their life to the fullest. Like they're doing crazy things. They're getting out of their comfort zone. So people might say like, wow, pile number three used to live a very YOLO, I don't care life. And if you see them now, so serious, so um, focused, so committed to... Maybe you were like a player. Maybe you used to talk to multiple people at the same time. Maybe you have multiple boyfriends or girlfriends. And now they're like, wow, power number three committed to one person? No freaking way. Because when they were with so-and-so, they were talking to about a bunch of people. Hey guys, don't don't shoot me, guys. That's what they're saying. But um, yeah. And maybe even like people are rumoring about maybe you had like a soft, classy, nerdy look to you, and now it's like such like a badass tattoos. Like you just look very different than who you used to be. But people can be discussing these differences, 
and kind of like caught by surprise all right but again you can be attracted to pal too because just like pal too you were very private or you are very private okay and maybe you used to be an open book maybe people used to know when you know when you would do stuff when would you because you would be like such a like i'm gonna start doing this and maybe you used to tell the whole world and now it's like it's very hard to know what you're gonna do tomorrow it's very hard to know who you're gonna see or what you're gonna do next very hard because you don't you don't really express much anymore and that's what people are rumoring about and also a relationship whether it's with a sugar daddy or with a baby father, baby mother. People are rooming. They're surprised. They're like, whoa. Commitment? Marriage? Engagement? Children? So people are very caught by surprise. And that's what they're rumoring about your persona. That they will never view you as... They would have never viewed you as a, a commitment person. Okay? So that's all, but not for all. Thank you so much for clicking on this reading. Bye, guys.